Good morning, you guys. It is Saturday, October 26th. Um, it's like 7 something in the morning. I was gonna sleep in, but my husband had to go into work for inventory. So, I'm up. And now Nate is up. And I'm pretty sure the babies are in the bedroom laughing. So, I'm pretty sure we're all up. Um... Today is going to be a pretty chill day. Um, we were supposed to go shooting today, but we couldn't find someone to watch the kids. So I told him that he could go and that I would probably just stay at home and maybe clean. Um, I kind of want to go to Target to get a few things and maybe out to the mall, I don't know, and that's all we'll do, um, and then I made a haircut appointment for Elijah today, so that's what we're doing today, um, and then tonight, me and my husband are gonna film our Q&A, um, video from the questions that I got from you guys, so my videos are gonna be a little out of order, just because this video was something that I really wanted to hurry up and film and edit and upload um because it's a big deal for my channel i wanted to put it out there for you guys um especially since it's been a couple days since i posted on all of my social media platforms um about the q a um some of you seem really excited i've gotten lots of positive feedback about my videos which makes me feel really good it's like a huge confidence boost and I, I definitely needed that, and I really appreciate you guys so much for that. Um, so I'm probably not going to vlog us shopping. I don't want to make this video too long because I still have to add the Q&A portion to this later. Um, but I will say, going forward with the channel, I want to make this more of a family channel and kind of incorporate my family more. I know I had said that I didn't really want to have the boys in like all of my videos and I still won't I, I won't put them in every video but I do want to start doing more things um and maybe getting them on the camera and also incorporating my husband in the channel because I think it's just so important especially since we're newly married to just be able to film together and you know have life discussions together. I think I'm going to start doing that going forward, having my life discussions with him or with my friends to kind of make it more interesting. So yeah, the name of the channel will be change, uh, changing. Um, I haven't really figured out yet what I want to change it to, but it will be changing. And this video, it's the 26th. This video will go up tonight, so... I really want to get this one up. Um, I have some other pre-recorded, pre-edited videos um, from about two weeks ago. Those will go up probably next week. So like I said, my videos are going to be a little out of order, but this is a priority video. So I really want to get this one up for you guys. Um, but yeah, thanks so much for all of your support. Guys, look, the trees are finally turning pretty colors. Oh my goodness, I can hardly contain myself. Also, we are at Target, and everyone's being super loud in the back, but yay, we're here. The vlog, what you got? Is that strawberries and cream? Mm -hmm. Hold it up. They made yours like super fancy. You put all the strawberries at the bottom. And I just got a mocha cookie, crumble mm -hmm. frappuccino. <laughs> Come on. Okay, guys, so we just left Target, and it's pouring. It was fine when we got in there, but I totally forgot about the 100% chance of rain. For the rest of the day thing and when we came out whew, um my glasses are soaked so i'm trying to clean them they're not prescription they're actually from um zenny optical i just really like cute glasses and because my prescription is so strong because my eyes are so bad it's really expensive for me to keep buying like glasses so i buy cute frames and i wear my contacts um but really quick I just wanted to show you the few things that I snagged, if I can get them out. Um, I got these really cute shoes for Nate. Um, these are a size 11. 
He needed shoes to wear to school that don't light up because they have like very strict rules about the shoes. Um, I guess they had their floors redone and so they don't want kids wearing shoes that are going to tear up the floors. Um, so I got him these in an 11. I love these. They're so cute. And it makes me sad because I didn't think he was ready for an 11, but he tried them on and wiggled his toes and his toes were right there. I was like, oh, okay, you needed an 11. Cool. And I just grabbed myself, yes, myself. I grabbed myself just two sweaters, um, just like pull, like throw on sweaters because I really don't have throw on sweaters. I have like fancy sweaters. This lady's gonna hit my car. Okay, that lady left. So now I can show you guys. To get everything out. I took everything, put it in the bag, and then I threw it in the diaper bag because it's just so much easier to carry. Um, this first one, I just got two. This first one is just navy blue with, I ripped the tag off because I didn't want you guys to see how much money I spent. Um, this is navy blue with white polka dots. It's a nice thin sweater. And I got this in, uh, I don't even know what size. I ripped the tag off, what's it say? An extra large because I like my sweaters to fit bigger. Your cat ears are in the stroller, babe. And then, just like that one I got, I got a black and white one. So, very cute, very simple, and easy to throw on. Hey guys, welcome back. This is the Q&A segment of my video. I know I vlogged a little bit earlier, but I wanted to get this in here because you guys have been asking about it all day. So, I have my husband here with me. Saying hi to the vlog. First time we're vlogging together. Um, and I got about 30 questions. I had to kind of scale it down just because I didn't want to make this video super long. I mean, everyone gets bored after like 20, 25 minutes of YouTube videos. I personally check out after like 15 minutes of watching a video. I don't know about you. No. No? Okay, I guess that's just me. But yeah, so I narrowed it down to 10, so we're just going to jump right into it. Okay, so the first question, how did you know she was the one? Well, it goes back to the stone ages when uh, I worked at my first job and she was the cashier at the window. And when I walked in, it was the first time seeing her, I asked my, my boss, who was that? He said, it's Elena. So. At that point, I came in every time on her shift only and helped her in the back washing dishes or doing some other stuff. You're always and picking up the slack for me because, ooh. It wasn't because of the slack. Those, those dishes would be backed up. It'd be really bad. That wasn't the reason and then, why, like, though. Superman Devontae would come in and just fix all my problems. Yeah, I don't know why they called me Superman. I, I just came even. in just to see you. And I, you know what? It didn't even click for me, you guys. I was just like, oh, Ashton had him come in because I suck and I need help. But, nope, he just wanted to see me. Yeah. That's really cute. Um, okay, so the second question, it's a little bit of a personal question. And I don't want to go too into detail because we'll be vlogging all night. Um, <laughs> uh, but I still accepted the question because I said no question is a bad question. I'll take any question you know uh, but this question is what happened with you and Nathan's dad so long story short we just were very different people and we didn't mesh well maybe in the beginning but at the end it just was all bad so we co-parent okay Nathan's happy you know everything's good now everything's like it's all cool so I think that's the most important thing that Nathan is happy and, you know, he sees us both an equal amount of time, you know, it's great. So that's all that matters to me. Um, let's see, the third one. What's your favorite memory from riding bus 802? Honestly, that was so long ago. I really don't have a favorite memory. Um, the person that asked the question was the only person I even talked to on that bus. You know, now I think about it, that bus must have been lit if they had to have a favorite memory. Everybody was like, every day I'm lit. Oh, hey. <laughs> yeah, no, I didn't really have any favorite memories. Everyone on that bus kind of annoyed me. Um, but yeah, the person that asked the question, you were cool. You still are cool. Um, 
maybe oh i remember listening to what was the name of that song i think it was a lady annabellum song no, I, don't know uh, I had this like little pink i like ipod like the old school ones yeah the that's, shuffle? i had a shuffle and then i had a nano I, I, I had a couple different ones i don't know but yeah that maybe that's like my favorite memory because it's the only one that really stands out so um okay number four what's your favorite little quirk about each other You go first. He wants me to go first. Um, are you doing it right now? No, he's not doing it. So when he is either, I've noticed when he's either like embarrassed or nervous, his mouth twitches. And it can be a very like subtle twitch or it can be really twitching. And the times that I've called him out, I'm like, oh, your mouth is twitching. He twitches even more. So I just, I think that's kind of cute that he does it. And now he's pursing his lips. He's trying not to do it right now. <laughs> but yeah, that's probably my favorite little I think thing about you. Mine's is mainly your attitude. I always have a bad attitude though. Like I know. 80% of the time I have a bad attitude. So you like that I have a bad attitude? No, it's your attitude. You can have a good attitude, bad attitude. It's usually cross bad. Cross-eyed attitude. What? Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. Um, what is your least favorite? Your attitude. So I guess that's <laughs> it goes both ways for me, good and bad. My attitude's just good and bad. That's okay. Um, for me, it's just typical guy stuff. I think all guys kind of do this to annoy their girlfriends, spouses, like their wife, whatever. Um, he gets in the habit of leaving his clothes next to the laundry basket instead of actually putting it in the laundry basket, which is right there. Or he'll just have like spilled coffee on the counter or sugar or the toothpaste will be left open. Just like little things like that. And I'm like, that'd be you. Mm, I don't do that. that maybe Nathan, <laughs> that'd be maybe you. Nathan does it that'd sometimes. That'd be you. No. Mm. Anyway, so yeah, that would be my thing. But that's just typical. Like, I feel like a lot of guys do that because they just don't think about that stuff. Especially in the morning when he's like trying to get off to work, he's not thinking about like cleaning up after himself. So I can understand that. It's 4.30 in the morning. It's early. I get it. It's okay. Um, number five, what's your dream vacation for you and your family? I gotta hear this one. I've been asked for a while. You've been asking me for a while? Yeah. I mean, I don't have a specific... That was a good question. I don't have a specific... It is a really good question. I don't have a specific place. I just want to go somewhere where it's warm all the time and tropical and just sunny. And I know that sounds more like a romantic kind of getaway, but I think the boys would have fun with that too, honestly. Where? I just an island or just like a beach where it's warm all the time. I hate Indiana. Florida? Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> That's not a vacation. I hate Indiana. I hate the cold and the snow. My and... goal is Ugh. to go to Jamaica. Jamaica. Okay. That that actually sounds really nice. Actually, sure that's possible next year. Oh, okay. I guess we're going to Jamaica then, guys. Stay tuned for that vlog. I said possible. Travel, travel <laughs> vlog coming soon. Um, yeah, so. Number six. What weird food combinations do you really enjoy? You want me to answer first? That's for you. Uh, this is for both of us. I eat anything. I I know. He he eats wrong. he eats some really weird things together, like chips and like you put chips in everything. No, I don't. Yeah, you do. You take like chips and you crunch it up and like chili or just like no i never did it with chili I oh i just gave him an idea i just gave him an sloppy idea joe. you guys no okay so sloppy joe with no bread that's right with the chips yeah and that is fire hey it's better than my brother that was just here that's better than him he eat peanut butter with everything peanut butter, is real, peanut butter is really good though oh eggs oh no no not that no no, no. Oh. that's nasty 
Um, what about you? I, I, I was getting to that. For me, there's only one combination that I can think of, and it's, it, it is pretty weird. Um, so when I was pregnant with Nathan, obviously when you're pregnant, you get a lot of strange cravings. Sounds really cliche, but I had a craving for pickles, and I also was craving macaroni and cheese one day. And my grandma cut up pickles and put it in the macaroni and cheese, and it was a game changer. I kid you not, it was so good. Yeah. So, I still think about that sometimes. It honestly sounds kind of appetizing. I don't know. Not really, no. <laughs> to, to me. Pickle juice. The macaroni and cheese with the crunchy pickle. And, uh, I don't know. Next. <laughs> um, okay. This is a good one, too. Number seven is, what are some red flags to watch out for in daily life? Can I answer that one? Mm -hmm. Crazy people. Crazy people. Yeah, yeah. And to kind of add to that, like, toxicness and just negativity. Like, you can, I'm a firm believer in you can get a vibe from somebody, and if that vibe rubs you the wrong way, don't associate with them. Don't even try to associate with them, because you're probably going to think later on, why did I even bother? I mean, that's just the best way to put it. Avoid negativity and toxicness so let, let's get on dr reed moment real quick oh, okay y'all gonna learn today okay so mm -hmm. the best thing to look for in a red flag is just how people act basically that's basically what she's saying if somebody's not acting to what you're used to or your natural surroundings then that's mm -hmm. gonna be a red flag to you because generally Warm. speaking if you're outside your comfort zone and you get into a group of people that's doing, let's say, the not the right thing and you're not used to it, that's going to yeah. be a red flag for you. So mm -hmm. you know next time to stay away from the group of people. So that's generally what she's talking about. Yeah. Mr. Dr. Reed, Ms. Mr. and Mrs. Reed, Dr. Moment. That sounds really cute, actually. We can yeah. actually say that it's a Mrs. and Mr. Reed, like Dr. Reed thing now because we're both Reeds. Well, yeah. That's so but cute. I'm, I'm more of a psychological person. I know. I I know. He's I'm more artistic and that That's kind why of when stuff. my YouTube I'm comes colorful. out, it's gonna be heck of fun. I don't know how old your YouTubers are. They can be like five years old and be like, Hi What okay. <laughs> you just ruined that super psychological moment we just had. But yeah guys, stay away from a negativity and toxicness. Just stay away. And if you see it you know what's probably gonna happen again. So if you happen to run into that, don't revisit it. Cause you already know how it's gonna go. You talk with your hands. I do talk with my hands. It's a, it's a vlogger thing. I, I only do it when I'm vlogging. When I'm at a home, I really, do, I a, think so. When I'm at home, I really don't talk with my hands. Like I can't control it. It's just doing its own thing right All now. Right. Like <laughs> it's its own person. Um, number eight. Where do you get most of the decorations for your home? That's all you, because I That's decorate. all me. So, um, as far as, like, general decorations, um, a lot of them have been, like, gifts that we got, like, for, like, um, like a wedding present or just, like, a housewarming gift when we first moved in, little things like Walmart. that. Walmart. Yeah, like, Walmart, Meyer, <laughs> Super Target. I get a lot of stuff from Super Target. You guys have watched my videos, more than half of my videos. It's a trip to Target vlog. Like, I, I love Target. Um, but then as far as, like, um, seasonal stuff, like, I know you guys watched my fall decoration video and my Halloween decoration video. I get a lot of my stuff from the Target dollar spot, or I get my stuff from Dollar Tree. I'm sure you guys have seen a lot of that stuff there. It's cheap. It's cute. That's where I get, like, all of my like, seasonal and holiday stuff from. Um, <laughs> number nine is what old person things do you do? I feel like everything I do is something that an old lady does. No, I, will just, mm, no. Uh, I get a lot of habits from my grandma, so I feel like I'm becoming her. I don't know. I think it's more of us sitting on a couch drinking wine and watching a movie. I think that's more... Old people do that? 
Young people don't drink we, wine. <laughs> we're in bed every night by like eight. 8 30 9 oh, that's, that's, that's we always work. go to bed that's early work stuff, though. that is that is work stuff old people even go, old people go to bed but even like on five. my day off like i find myself getting tired by like eight o'clock every night like my body's like okay time to go to sleep like i instantly start mm. shutting down i still think the the wine watching a movie cuddling wine thing that's all of course so. kind of um I, I don't know i can't really um i read better homes and gardens i like that I have a subscription uh, to it. I like Pioneer Woman. I like Food Network. I mean, a lot of people like that stuff. I don't think that's necessarily an old I don't. Thing. I can't think of nothing because I don't consider the wine thing. Now that I think about it. Yeah, I, a lot of like adults do that. Drink wine and sit at home. That's like a. Why you say adults? That's like a norm for our age group. No, not really. Our age group like they rather go to the bar and. No, that's like twenty one, twenty two. We're old. We're old people now. I'm not. We're pushing. We're pushing thirty. I'm turning what's, 27 what's this <laughs> next month. I said this what's month. What's that, um, uh, what's that game called? There's a meme about the, about it. You play it all the time. With the little guy with the blonde hair and the blue suit. Blonde hair and a blue suit? Yeah. Who is that? You play that game. <laughs> What game is they, that? Sims? The, the characters <laughs> <laughs> The character the character has blonde hair. The new Coca Cola and the I can't Fallout? Think, Fallout, thank he you. He has no suit on. Okay, well he has blue. He clothes. has a jumpsuit. No, suit if or... anyone oh if God. anyone is a fan of fan of memes, there's a meme and it's like him and he's like, Whoa and it's like it says like twenty five's creeping up on you and you're like, Hold up Or it'll say like twenty Whatever, however old you are. Well, that's us. We're like, hold on. Because we're pushing 30. We are pushing 30. We are. I'm 26. You're pushing 30. Um, 26. And then number 10, to wrap up this video. <laughs> cutting them off. Where do you see yourself in 10 years? You want, to, you want me to answer that? What well, I always answer with? Um, yeah, sure. They don't know what, how you always answer, so go ahead. Tell the blog. I don't even want to answer that now. I'll answer what I think. So, I definitely want to go back to school at some point. Maybe when the boys are older and my schedule's different and just things are different. We're not in this house anymore. I want to go back to school. Um, and I want to get my either my ASN, my BSN, my RN, something more than what I already have as an MA. BBC. <laughs> We're going to edit that out if you guys heard that. Um, <laughs> yeah, so I definitely want to go back to school and just get a, get a higher title at the end of my name. CMA, that's cool, but I want like RN or something else. And I definitely want to work in the hospital or a doctor's office. That's just what I want to do. I like working in the medical field. I like helping people. I feel a need to help people. That's just what I feel like I'm meant to do. Um, definitely in like a bigger house. Maybe with like a dog or two dogs. I see that next year. Next year. Uh, <laughs> ten years. I see myself owning... A business or moving up in my company. More than likely moving up in my company, the way yeah. things are going right now. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I just see a bigger family, too. Mm, yeah, we... Behind the vlog, we kind of talked about that. And I think I put in a video... I might have put in a video recently that we've talked about maybe having another baby once the boys are a little bit older. I just don't know yet. Both my pregnancies, mentally, it was rough for me. And I just don't know if I want to go through another pregnancy. I don't know. We'll talk about that, though. That's for a different day. But anything else? No. No. More guns. What, what, more, more guns. This is Mr. Tactical right here. Once it gets his channel up and running, guys, I'm going to link it down below on all of my videos so you guys can go straight to his channel and check out his videos and give them all the thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button, that notification, get updates. Yep. All that, all that, all good, that stuff. good stuff. Mm -hmm. yeah. 
All right, you guys, so that wraps it up for this video. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit that little notification bell down below to get all my future video updates. Anything you want to say? Close out the video? Go Philly. Go Philly. All right. See you guys next time.